Hello there and welcome to the really useful consumer show. For this week's price busting, I've come to London's West End to find out how much you're paying for a humble cappuccino. So without further ado, let's go grab some caffeine. Hello there and welcome to the London Academy of Film and TV. I'm Sally Gray, one of the tutors on the TV presenting training courses. Now, if you're thinking about perhaps coming along and enrolling in one of our courses, then here's a quick taste of what you might get up to if you come and join us. But right now I'm off to the Academy. Driver, can you take me to the London Academy, please? I've got a whole host of students waiting for me. I'm late as it is. We're on our way. Hi there, welcome to this week's top TV tips. And can I just say, there is a veritable plethora to choose from at the moment. We are so spoiled for choice. First up, Hell's Kitchen got off to a fiery start. Loving Jean Christophe Novelli. Even though I can't make out a word he says, I caught Footballers' Wives last night. The more outrageous it gets, the more addictive it becomes. Desperate Housewives is just getting better and better. And it's official. I have completely fallen head over heels in love with Kiefer Sutherland as Jack in 24. But unmissable TV gold this week has to be The Apprentice. Sir Alan Sugar is a legend with his blunt one-liners and surely Syrah has got to be next for the chop. Don't miss the final few episodes, Wednesdays, BBC Two at nine o'clock. Right, that's your lot. Remember to tune in to Celebrity Wrestling. That starts this weekend and I'll be back with more next week. See you then. Right, we are now in the hub of the London Academy. This is the studio area where you would do your autocue pieces and also your interviews. And I've got three very attractive people sitting there in the hot seat right now. Three of our star students from this week's course. It's Gemma, Russell and Gemma. Very attractive bunch of people you are. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. How did you manage to pull these two, Russell? I don't know. It just, just happened. Lucky. Just maybe some charm that you discovered whilst doing the course. Better. Yeah, definitely. Why not? <laughs> Now, first of all, Gemma with a G, or was it a J? It's G. It's G. Gemma, how did you find this week? Oh, it's been very intense and very hard work, but it's all been completely worth it. It's been a great laugh. The first few days are hard work, and then it all turns into fun. I mean, once your confidence builds up, it, it does really become much more fun than anything else. Brilliant. So it's kind of getting better and better. You're improving all the time. Definitely. Everybody, was here, everybody here has been such a big help. Helped me a lot to bring out the good parts and put back the bad parts. <laughs> Get rid of them. Good stuff. Now, Russell, at the end of day one, you were looking slightly deflated and almost slightly concerned about how the rest of the week was going to pan out. Uh, did it kind of improve as the week went on? Doing pieces to camera in Leicester Square is fantastic. There's people all around watching me. I didn't have a clue that I was just a student, but it was just gave me a real feel of what it's like to be doing it as well. Yeah, so you actually felt like you were a proper TV presenter with all these crowds kind of standing around watching. Yeah, yeah it was but, brilliant. Because also as well, you feel quite pressurised under that sort of situation when lots of people are watching and you worry about messing up your lines. Did it kind of add to your confidence or make you feel a bit more nervous? I wasn't too worried about it because you're focused on the camera so much that what's going on around you just doesn't affect you. And if you can do it, then just go for it and hope you get it right. Good answer. I'm impressed. The fact that nothing else mattered, just you and your rapport with that camera. I like your style. You've learned something this week. That's pretty yeah. good. And uh, what about you, Gemma? What do you think has been the most challenging part of the week? Because it's not all been, you know, roses all the way. It's been quite yeah. tough, hasn't it? It has been tough. It's been challenging, but it's been good. It's been challenging in a good way because I think it's brought all of us out of ourselves. It's just been so much fun. I love doing Vox Pops where we have to go to up to people on the street and just interview them. Really random. It was such a laugh it was brilliant it's a great way to show off your personality yeah as well. definitely, definitely yeah I mean at the end of day one I have to say the whole of the class there was you know about seven of you or so and you're all pretty deflated as if <laughs> oh my god what is this we've got to do um, when you came in on the second day you know how how did things improve so much I think it was just the fact you went out there and started filming yeah definitely <laughs> you went out there and you were in the street and you were filming and you came back and you watched it and all your troubles had gone away and you were really confident about it. I think the fact that um, we all knew each other by the second day as well, we kind of knew each other that little bit more. Yeah. So we felt more comfortable when we came in and um, overall the second day just felt a little bit more relaxed. And mm. I think probably from the training and what we got told on the first day, we all went, went home overnight, thought about it and brought it back the next day. That's the thing, I mean, there's so much in this course to get through and in a way we kind of like make it sound really tough and really hard so that maybe you're a bit more pleasantly, pleasantly surprised the next day and it's not that bad. Yeah, yeah. Um, definitely. What would you say to anyone that was interested in maybe coming to do this course? What advice would you give them, Gemma, first? Just come and do it, basically. I mean, when, you, when you're thinking about it, 
don't don't ex don't come here expecting anything because it will not be what you expect. Just come here, be yourself, and try to be as relaxed as you can, and um, just take on board everybody's advice here because it really does help. And when you say it wasn't quite what you expected it was going to be, what do you mean? It was worse. Um, <laughs> I don't know, maybe it's just because it was so intense the first day that it was all a bit much for me. I, I'm not, I really don't know. I think I came here thinking, oh, I'm a great TV presenter and realised I'm actually not. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I've got so much to work on. But, um, you know, working on that has, has helped me become a better presenter. Fantastic, because the more practice you do, the better you get without a doubt. You know, you can't just suddenly become a presenter like that. Oh, no. However, the great thing is that producers seeing your showreels will just look for a bit of, a bit of spark on camera. Uh, what would you say, Russell, to any of the guys out there maybe thinking about coming to do the course? Just throw yourself in and go for it. If you make mistakes, it really doesn't matter because you get another shot at it. And just do it. You've got to do it. If you're thinking about doing it, you've got to try. And you're definitely still wanting to be a presenter? Oh, yeah. Season? More so than ever. Really? <laughs> yeah. What kind of shows do you want to do? Oh, I don't know. Sort of Saturday weekend mornings, something like that. Sort of entertainment-y type shows. Fancy yourself as a bit of a laugh, do you? Well, possibly, yeah. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> well, you've certainly done well with the chicks, that's for sure. Uh, and Gemma, what about you? What advice would you give to people thinking about doing the course? Just do it and enjoy it. And whatever the outcome, you will get a good package at the end of it. You know, you get your show reel that you can send off to people, which is the best thing that you can have to try and become a presenter. Just enjoy it. It's been absolutely brilliant. Excellent. Well, it's really good value for money as well because you've had the whole week to get used to being in front of camera. And don't forget to sh send your showreels off to all those producers and independent companies and broadcasters and, of course, agents. And I wish you all the very best of luck. Thank, thank, thank you, you very, very much. much. Now, on this show, we like to pride ourselves on always being one step ahead of the pack when it comes to spotting fresh new musical talent. So listen up, because this next singer-songwriting sensation, we reckon, is going to go all the way to Amarillo and back. Here she comes. It is Miss Lucy Silvis.